What in the entire f What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborne, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. Thanks so much for the support guys, and what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Back at you with one of my favorite shows, it's Castlevania Episode 7, The Great Work. The Great Work, and I'm guessing this episode we're probably going to focus more on what's going on on uh, Target Beach Day, because last episode we got all of the Battle of Styria and all its fucking glory. Yeah, I'm but, hoping we at least get something. I want to see what happened with Hector and Lenore, if Lenore squashed the beef after her sister's dead. She I mean, what else has she got? I mean, she didn't seem too happy, so... She probably, it's probably one of those things like, I'm mad, but at the same time, I mean, I guess call it even, because I did make him my slave, and yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, they can be together now, so I, mean, I don't see why they can't squash the beef. Hey, look, I know I cut off my ring finger, but I still got you, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment right now, but you know. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, with the whole shit in Target Beach Day, Trevor and uh, Sypha, it was Trevor that found, like, some kind of access to the underground catacombs. He's, like, knocking on... Yeah, and the frog as night creature came out, and then Zamphir had the shit in the back of her neck. Yeah, like compromised her ass. So I don't know if that's gonna turn her into like a fucking zombie, or she can get like superpowers. I don't know, but I just I want to get into this, see where this goes. So you ready, Glacier? Yep, I'm ready to get into this. All right, guys, and as usual, just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views. I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's fucking go. Underground. Sure does look like it. Who's that? Is that one of the shady vampires? Yeah, it has to be because night creature just chilling. Yeah, that's probably where Varney and them were chilling. Yep. I think they steal things from their own port. And then some idiot shows up with a divining set around his neck, probably thinking it would make him resistant to swords. Oh hey, shit. Like some Ouija board shit. Oh, shit, about to find it. Yeah, it's a clean ass, like, holographic map. Damn, Look how deep it. those catacombs go. There. That's their underground. Damn. Board. Damn. She took the tracking stone right there. Oh, so that thing was a tracker? It wasn't your plan. It was my plan. You gave my assent, therefore it became my plan. Be happy I even remember you're here. God! Did you just say to me? Oh, you got beef? You me? I was to make Targo Vishta a gift to him. You're just my little helper. Ooh, yeah. Fuck you to hell, Varney. Damn. A shallow criminal who somehow wormed your way into Dracula's circle a hundred years ago. He's about to get murked. Damn, who's gonna get murked? Who's gonna you're a criminal too. I know you. You don't fucking know me. Oh, shit, real hot around here. I'm a clever soldier. I'm a committed soldier. Damn. You're gonna be a dead soldier if you don't chill. You have no idea, do you? War is when you kill so many of the other side that they can't fight you anymore. Damn. Yeah. Who went between Rakka or Striga? Interesting. Probably Striga, so I have to see him in combat. That's what I do. That's what I did. That's what I do. Yeah. All this is to get, like, credit. <laughs> yeah. You're everything cool. I hate. Damn, you're everything I hate. <laughs> vampires who think it's all about wit. I have nothing but motion and fear and hunger. And all the people in the world are lined up like animals in pens. People forget what we are. Damn, it's like, once they no longer need each other, there's gonna be a double cross for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Hopefully he has some backup to all that monologue he was doing. If he gets murked quick, I'm like, wow. Like, wow. You are going to show us your fabled underground court. Are we clear? Damn. I think it's time for you to go to the underground court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that what I just like, said? Yeah. I stopped listening a second or two after you started mewling about what you want. Right. Then I decided it was time for you to follow me. I'm taking control of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill this bitch. Let's take a look at this place first. Are they gonna notice this shit on her neck? So they're camping outside his castle now? Or is it somewhere else? Yeah, it is outside. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I don't got enough room. Sorry. You know how Alucard feels having guests in your house. Like, there's plenty of room to roam around. Just don't go in my room. This fucking asshole. He's not an asshole. He's trying to see his girl. <sighs> well, he only technically killed like one person, right? He's an asshole purpose, but still. Oh no, you too? Yeah. Mastery. Mustache twirling motherfucker. Mary's like gotta get the gate yeah. open. Yep, good. I want him to. I'm rooting for you. I want you to see your girl. I want Dracula out. I want death out. I want everybody out. Nobody's gonna miss that. Well, Dracula kills Trevor with bloods on your hands for wanting the shit. <laughs> Damn. I mean, he's, I guess Alucard's not really worried about him. He's probably somewhere with Greta. 
Oh, there's guess. the room that he died in. God. I have the location. Damn. And I am preparing the way. God, is that Dagon? Yep. Oh no, Dagon's coming! Fuck! He got bitch slapped, so until then, he lost all respect for me. He's like, I'm gonna earn my shit back. <laughs> okay, it's like... Oh shit, they're like, oh no, he killed himself! Assassin's Creed style. Like, oh no! Oh hey. <laughs> you gave them a story they'll be telling forever. I heard them laughing. Legends. You don't actually know what you've got in your castle, do you? Not really. <laughs> it looks like you were feeding an army in there up until a couple of months ago. Well, that wasn't me. Or the twins yeah. ransacked his house. Let's talk about something. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah, like I don't talk about, about it. it. Oh, it's probably Dagon in a squad. Oh shit. Oh. I'm gonna ram the fucking door down. A whole ass army. Yeah, a whole ass army of vampires. Oh, oh shit. my god. There he is. You son of a bitch. What the fuck are these things? What the fuck? He's sewing together body parts? Like What's Frankenstein like style? Oh, oh shit. Fuck, a ring. What in the entire fuck? Definitely sewing parts back together. Oh, How'd they get yeah. the ring? Like, they. Who else had a ring? It was the, the vampire sisters. Right, I mean, maybe they could put this ring on anybody. You guys don't want the smoke either. Shoulder check this door. People still sick. God. You need to take care better, better care of your people. What is treasure there? There's treasure, yeah. I think mean, that's a goblet. But it's like not worth anything. Like, I can't eat this goblet. I'm bored as fuck. <laughs> Damn. Help me and my baby. Yeah, she's so pissed off though. Make sure they kick you kick their ass. What? Yeah, don't be whispering shit. I don't trust you as it is. Yeah, money. Ooh, another. Oh damn, what's That magic too? Can't be. <gasps> you found the new toy? It's like a Belmont weapon. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. One of the extra things you can throw in the game. Oh yeah. He goes that a mad Norwegian vampire hunter went to India and he convinced the weapons master of the Raja Putrakans to make him this thing. Damn. Use it on them they try to double cross you. I would love to see that. Turns out that if you put a big geometric shape right up close in their field of vision, it confuses the shit out of their brains and, you know, makes them panic. Oh shit. How do you even know that? Yeah. Yeah. Belmont knowledge. Yeah, Belmont, bro. They're resting. Yeah, well, time to stop sleeping through all this. Damn, what if it's like all of a sudden? Oh shit. No. Do you really, really? Want to make my life any more annoying right now? <laughs> Damn. What do I pay for? Oh no! I oh, they're me. dead. I see why they're so remarkably unconcerned. Oh, I see. It was all of a side. Oh, she's gonna be oh. pissed. Damn. Yeah. She's, yeah, about that. <laughs> Some fear. This is over. It will never be over. The apocalypse will never claim us. The catastrophe of Tarnishta will never happen again. You're defending two dead bodies. <gasps> they will wake. Their majesties will awaken from their royal sleep and save. She's like, no, you bullshit. Insane. Of course I'm insane. The fuck what now? <laughs> the fuck what now? <laughs> this is the great work. This is my glorious duty. She's like brainwashed. Trevor's like fiddling around with treasure. She's yeah, like, I want more magic gems. <laughs> I'm waiting for Varney and Rocco to show up. They broke it into pieces. I am truly sorry for everything that has happened to you. But all this has to stop. She's delusional. Yeah. You did the best you could. But your rulers are She's gonna fight. Yeah, she's got a crazy look in her eye. No. I saved them. Oh no. no oh shit, oh, they're here. Shit. Oh shit, who the fuck is that? Oh, it's probably Varney and Ratko and Night Creature. Ooh, this punching a big ass hole in the wall. The Night Creature? Oh yeah, Night Creature. Oh, dead. Oh, oh she got dead as fuck. Finally, we're gonna see what you're about. All that Damn. shit you're talking. Well, we'll see how the Trevor and Cypher do against Ratko. Meanwhile, Night Falls here, and they gotta deal with Frog shit too. Yeah, the whole army coming at him. Damn, I don't think. I think episode eight is gonna be a banger. Yeah, we're gonna end right here. It's gonna end. I feel like this episode's gone on I pretty long. Oh no. It's gonna end. Yeah. Oh no. It's gonna end. Cliffhanger foot stomp, fuck you. Yeah, cliffhanger foot stomp. All right, the great work, Glacier's Bank. Oh, definitely the great work of St. Germain. It looks like he's putting work on there, and I'm rooting for you, St. Germain. Let's bring back Dracula. Let's get death out there. Let's do it, St. Germain. Get your woman. You're going to be eating those words of death and Dracula team up on Trevor and Siphon. One of them dies. I'm telling you, it's on you, Glacier. It's on you. If one of them die, I'm okay with not Trevor. 
I mean, I don't really want Saif either, but, you know, St. Germain all the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, <laughs> St. Germain's going to be like, just give it to me. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, he might keep me. St. Germain might die by bring back Jack, because that whole thing, tying back where she said you have to fuse or something. That yeah, he's still got to worry about that, uh, what was it called, the Rebus. And he's got to also worry about uh, Gon after he bitch slapped him. Yeah, because I'm sure he ain't going to let that shit slide, because now the game is coming with the whole ass army to uh, the castle. Once Dracula's back, he's like, well, I don't really need you now. And I remember that bitch slap. What's crazy because like Alucard is like him and Greta are kind of, you know, going through finding supplies, rations, everything they can for the people. And he's kind of all like distracted with her. She's distracted with him. Meanwhile, St. Germain is roaming freely around the castle, putting his little stones out that Hector yeah. gave him. And, and like, he's oh, like, I mean, Alucard seems like he's just kind of oblivious to anything. Cause he's, she's like, we, you don't even know, you don't realize how much food you even have in here. He's like, no. I mean, I feel, I feel like a piece of him is still kind of like PTSD from what those twins did was that. So I don't blame him. That was fucked up. He's like, even no, he, like, he started talking about it. He's like, eh, I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> I wouldn't want to talk about it either. Fuck that. But so, yeah, that shit going on. And then Trevor and Saifa are starting to see that Zamfir may be a little crazy. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe delusional or. I mean, I get it because it seems like she's the only one in the royal family that's left alive after. And it stems back to like the first season when Dracula first came down. They have a bunch of cool shit down there in that treasure chest. Like the, yeah, they have the, treasure, they have trinkets. Yeah, uh, that one weapon that's rare as well. Yeah, club. Trevor found that one from that, um, that Hindu uh, vampire hunter. Yep. But I think, yeah, you mentioned, I think that is a weapon in the game that you can get. Remember, it's like one of those little side, like, one of the side things you can throw. Like, you can switch out your little different things. And it makes throw. sense that he's already a boss with it because he already has done all that homework and knowledge from the Belmont yeah. archives. But it's like, when it comes to those people that are there, they can't eat weapons. They can't eat gold. They can't eat goblets. So they're yeah. sitting like, what the fuck? Well, they're, now they're kind of screwed because now they're... Uh, yeah, Varney and Rakko are there. Rakko could just bust it in. And we're about to see what Rakko's all about because he's talking way too much shit. Yeah, he, he went on like a five-minute rant about like, how he's he, this soldier and that soldier. And it all stemmed because he because Varney wouldn't give him the credit for finding the catacombs. Yeah, hopefully all the little night creatures fight, you know, uh, Zamfir, Zypha, and hopefully Trevor goes one-on-one -on -one with Rakko. And Rakko gets murked in like two seconds, Rakko, then you're a punk for using that long-ass monologue. You took up too much time for that monologue, you better put up a fight. I mean, a vampire soldier, you should be able to put up some kind of a fight, but I was wondering, is like, who do you think is stronger, him or Striga? Because they kind of have the same dynamic. They're both just kind of like, well, not like a foot soldier, but they're just like, you know, like the muscle of, of their faction. Like, Varney's kind of like the, I guess you could say the brains of the organization, and then Rakko's kind of the muscle, but now Rakko's like, well, no, I'm kind of the brains now because I'm the one that found the, the underground lair. Yeah, hopefully Varney doesn't get caught. So Varney kind of reminds me also of the, damn, I can't think of that redhead uh, vampire that got killed by Isaac. Yeah, Bloodram. Yeah, but he gets like too arrogant and he gets caught slipping. Yeah, I mean, Varney is definitely not as smart as he thinks he is. He's like, he's got a way of like, kind of like, again, manipulating a situation, kind of just like, making the right alliances with the right people. Yeah. That kind of comes in handy, which is, I mean, it's worked so far, but the thing is, it's like, are they just kind of at each other's throats because they've known each other so long and they're like those two friends that just fucking kind of hate each other, like a love-hate relationship? Or at any point, if Ratko's in trouble, is Varney just gonna let him die just out of spite, like, oh, fuck you, all that shit you are talking earlier? Or yeah. if he's gonna, is, is he gonna double cross him and like kill him when he's not looking? Yeah, exactly. Though. Or vice versa, because again, they're. Like, Rakko was the one that was doing most of the shit talking, so. Um, so yeah, I mean, it seems like this episode is just kind of the build up, and it seems like next episode is gonna explode, because we got Dagon and that whole army heading literally right for the castle. We got Saint Germain, his plan's about to work. He found Alucard's room, so now, I mean, it's pretty much inevitable at this point that Dracula's coming back because no, nobody's stopping St. Germain's plan. And then, meanwhile, yeah. you have the whole shit that's about to go down the underground catacombs. And is Zamfir going to snap out of her shit? Is she going to get killed? Is she going to get her people killed? Because some of them already got killed when Rakko busted through the wall. So. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, I'm hoping Dracula comes back and I'm uh, hoping we get a death appearance. I don't know if death will be fighting anybody because death kind of like I mean, stays in his own lane. And I mean, unless, I mean, I'm trying to remember in the game, like, I think mean, probably it's just as a video game, you had to fight him for some reason, but usually he stayed in his own lane. I'm just trying to figure out, like, that's the only way I can see that king and queen coming back, like Xanfer keeps predicting, oh, they're going to come back, da 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 is if death somehow shows up and the whole rules of life and death go out the window because he's, like, out of hell. So. Or he opens that gate to where they come and... Which, yeah, like, they would just come back them. to their body. Or like, something. how many people are in hell that you don't think are in hell? Like, why is that king and queen in hell? Maybe they fucked over a lot of people in poverty and did shit. I mean, it's shit. probably got a lot of what's and going then, on when they're dead. Like, oh, yeah, Camilla, give us all your food, give back. us all your shit, and then the people starve. That would be crazy. Camilla comes back. And then Carmilla is in hell. So it's like, yeah, I feel like that's going to play a key role in this shit. And yeah, I mean, it's going to shake things up. 
and then also Dracula. So it, yep. I kind of felt like this was like a, I don't know, a filler episode, but like a, No, it was a build-up. Build-up episode, because I knew it was six hit hard, seven was, the seven was still good, but it was more of the build eight, which eight's gonna be. It's probably gonna be eight, nine, and 10 at this point. Yeah, now like, everything's good. ramping up to this big climax in so many levels. Yeah, I think eight's gonna be the whole two battles, obviously, because we have Trevor fighting and we have um, Alucard fighting. And then in the midst of all that, uh, Saint Germain's plan is gonna work and blame yeah. Ole Dracula. Yeah, probably at the end of the episode, Dracula and Cliffhanger. Oh, so, fuck you. Yeah, they're, they're really good with the cliffhangers. It's like a the good thing is that we're gonna probably jump right in the next episode, but still, it just like makes me twitch a little bit. Like, fuck, yeah, you got me again. Got me again, yeah. All right, uh, but yeah, overall, great episode. Final thoughts, Glacier? Final thoughts, yeah. Love this show. It's one of my favorite uh, shows and series all together, Dragon Certified. Oh, yeah, and I mean, I don't mind the build up episodes, so I know they're setting it up. It's like an alley oop, and then next is gonna be the fucking slam dunk. Yeah, but, um, yeah, can't wait. Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. And there you have it, guys. Another one in the books. The real question is, what did you guys think in there in Drag Squad Land? Um, the way Racco and Barney are, are going at it. I mean, are we kind of right to think that there might be a double cross afoot there? And are we right in the fact that these next three episodes are going to knock our socks off? Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.